guys. It's out in the woods again today, enjoying the beautiful autumn weather. I've been out here for about three hours now, got up about seven o'clock this morning, and uh, sat for a while on a ridge hoping to see some wildlife. Didn't see anything. Been spending most of my time trying to be quiet, but uh, I don't think I'm gonna see anything today. I think it's time to take a break and lose the pack for a while. All right guys, today I got my Boulder 85 liter backpack. Last night, uh, what I always do before a hike is I empty my entire pack. I go through it. I decide on what my activities are gonna be for the day, whether I'm bushcrafting, photography, exploring, and I take out any unnecessary items just to save a bit of weight. I found a pretty good spot to hang out. I'm going to have a bite to eat. There's a fallen tree that a beaver chewed down. That's going to be my seat. I cleared an area. I put some balsam poplar bark for a fire lay. I brought my flint and steel kit today. I have a ball of fluffed up jute twine. I have some resin soaked bark or fat bark for uh, an accelerant. I have a bird's nest, dry grass, birch bark. I have some fine kindling and some bigger pieces over there. While my noodles are cooking, 
going to take some of this balsam poplar bark and try to make a spoon out of it. That is my completed poplar bark spoon. I didn't bring any sandpaper so I used a rough stone by the creek to sand it out. Put a bit of olive oil on it. I also found a nice rock with lots of pyrite for my flint and steel. I'm just making my way up this trail back to my car. Had a long hike today and I just wanted to quickly share a story with you. This trail here, it doesn't look very steep at all but it's actually about a 45 degree angle and it's probably, probably about a half a mile long. I come down here on my mountain bike all the time. It's the same trail. I ride my sled down during the winter. And about 70 years ago it used to be a logging trail. So anyways, a truck had come down here uh, to do some four buying and got seriously stuck. When I came down for a hike, I could hear a horn honking and I knew that someone was down here and was in trouble. Next thing I knew, a, a tow truck was pulling that truck up the hill. It was all bashed up. A couple guys were down here. There was a bobcat down here as well with a chainsaw in the bucket and they actually had to cut this guy out he was stuck so bad anyways he's really lucky but he's going to have a huge tow truck bill his car is all smashed uh, to get those guys down here with the bobcat that probably cost some extra money